Canada's descent into a dark culture of death continues. Um, and our war on the vulnerable continues completely unabated and unmolested. Out of BC, a tweet from our friend Yankee Pollock, our social media manager. Uh, BC man opts for medically assisted death after 10 weeks without chemotherapy. Again, you can call me a conspiracy theorist, but this opening up of made to anybody who's inconvenient or eccentric uh, come March 24 or 2024 is the government's way out of mismanaging the healthcare system. Like one of the current protocols to qualify for medical assistance dying in Canada is if you are dissatisfied with the care that you're getting for this for the uh, illness that you have. We're Canadian. We are constantly dissatisfied with the care that we're getting for the illness that we have. It can take up to two years to get a knee replacement. Well, under the current protocols, you can mage yourself because you can't get a knee replacement. And then, you know, it, in March, it's going to be inclusive of the mentally ill. And so this guy can't get cancer treatment. So he just says, forget it. Because by the time I get cancer treatment, uh, it'll be too late for me. So I'll just do this on my own terms. What a disgrace. The opening up of the MAID protocols is the government's way of dealing with how bad they screwed up the healthcare system and refused to do anything different. It's a disgrace. Canadians are taking their lives because our healthcare system is terrible. And this is like one of those third rails of Canadian politics that you can't touch. You can't say there's something wrong with healthcare. We need to do it differently. We need to give people better options and different delivery. But the left and the political establishment say, no, we can't. And people suffer and die. We all get to suffer in the same line. That's uh, Canada's socialized healthcare system. It's ration. It's slow. And it's agonizing if you actually need to use it. Canada's healthcare system is great unless you actually need to use it. Then good luck to you. Hey, I got to tell you, I'm going on a cruise with a whole bunch of rebels. We're sailing out of Fort Lauderdale on March 23rd, 2024. That's not so far away, less than six months away. A gorgeous trip around the Caribbean. Holland America line. Boy, is that luxurious. And we're going to bring some of our favorite rebel talent. Sheila Gunn Reed, David Menzies, and can you believe it? We're actually bringing Tamara Leach with us, and you are invited. That's rebelnewscruise.com.